Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Yes, I am in my car and I'm gonna attempt to build this. So this video consists of me talking about cheese time that I went on a date with this guy, right? I'm gonna name this guy Sebastian. Okay, I'm gonna name him Sebastian just because I low-key like that name. I met him at a 7-Eleven. Let's start there. I don't know what I was thinking but he was low-key kind of cute when i first saw him my friend peyton the one that i'm always with actually was there with me that day and she ended up giving him my number so he did end up texting me so this guy we meet up to go on a, to a coffee shop and the coffee shop over there by koreatown right Cape town if you're from la you know Cape town so we're over there meeting up i chose the location because obviously like i was low-key scared and not only that but you just never know, you know? So I ended up telling him, let's meet up in public, you know, let's go to the coffee shop. I like coffee anyways, but I didn't even end up getting coffee, but that's another story. So El llega literally like two hours late, but I don't know what I was doing there, you know, like waiting for him to show up two hours later after the date, right? That's a, already a no. Don't ever do that. Don't ever wait for anyone hungry. Y me puse a ordenar comida. Me puse a ordenar comida for myself, right? I started ordering food for myself. Because I was looking hungry. I was like, man, I'm going to eat. I finished eating my freaking food. I think I got like a pasta. And then I ended up getting like a smoothie. He had texted me three minutes prior to me walking out. I was like, man, if this guy, I'm not going to wait for him. I do not care anyways. So, vengo yo y me salgo, right? And he's like blowing up my phone like, hey, you know, like I'm literally right here in my car. If you want to meet me, meet me there. Okay. He shows up, he lo miro across the street, and I was like, damn, that's him, you know. And he didn't even look cute. Sorry to say, I'm so sorry. But he was in like in his uniform or something like that. And he was like, oh, I just came from work. And I was like, why is he lying saying that he wasn't at work? You know, like he had said he was home getting ready to come see me. So I'm like, oh, you know, sit down next to me. Nice to meet you. I introduced myself properly. And then I hear like he has an accent. Getting along well, getting to know each other, just like friends. And then suddenly he starts like, you know, being a little bit more flirtatious, being a little bit more like on it. I ended up driving my car and we were like in a Dunkin' Donuts place, I think. In a Dunkin' Donuts place, in the drive through And he ends up leaning close to me because I guess he wanted to give me a hug, right? Loki, I feel like he wanted to kiss me, but uh -uh. Leans forward, I guess it stole all the gas, and my car bumped into the car in front. Oh my god. No me no hey. Like I was just like, damn, you know, he he freaking bumped my car into the other one. We did a whole paperwork with the lady. Give me a driving my car and I was like, why did I even let this guy drive my car, right? We kept on hanging out. I kinda like forgive him or whatnot. And let me tell you guys, he never had like a debit car. He never had like I don't know. It was just kind of like too much. Deal with. No tenía debit card. He did not have credit cards because obviously he was getting paid like by checks. So siempre tenía que ir a sacar dinero del check cashing or like one thing that bothered me. Guy hasta quería dinero prestado. That I didn't. I didn't roll with that. I was like, you know what? Don't even ask me for money prestado because if we're gonna be hanging out and you don't have money, just say that. And I got you. You know, like I got you. I'm gonna pay for my stuff, but that's it. I was like, he was fucking weird because I remember a few times he say, oh, I speak English, I speak Spanish, I know how to speak German, something like that. And he will be like, ah, oh, cerro, cerro, I don't know what the hell he will say, but I was like, damn, I would look at him and I was like, that freaks me out, like, stop doing that. Like, I don't know if you're throwing me, like, some witchcraft or, like, some spells. And he will look at me and he kind of like, he was a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I cannot believe I was hanging with someone like that. But he continued you think like he was a super like good looking like boy calm down you are not all that you know he would look at me and he said oh, Sarah, Sarah. i don't know what the hell he was saying but it was so weird and then i would be like stop you know because that's like a little keep freaking me out like that's weird and he would just kind of giggle and then we would listen to music that's another thing he was only into like rock that was like his main thing he didn't listen to any other kind of music one time this was like the spooky weird thing that happened to me with this guy right sebastian we went to this park at middle of not middle of the night but it was okay middle of the night and uh we were low-key kind of like 
kind of like looking at the view from downtown LA because I grew up over there going to school in downtown LA so we were there um, looking at the buildings and then I was telling him you know this is not gonna go anywhere further like you just this is not going anywhere to be honest I was still you know not over my eggs barely going through the heart of the hardest you know hardest times ever but this guy was not it either he was like he did that so many times so you know the whispering the talking and there his I don't know saying whatever he was saying and then <clears throat> we were we went outside the car and I remember him leaning against my car and he said but why like I want something like serious I'm like in my head I'm like this dude doesn't even know me like we barely met we just we're like friends we started hanging out I was like getting all upset, kind of like teary eye. Besides, he was going to go back to El Salvador. <laughs> That's another part, right? He continues and he starts doing whatever he says. Out of the nowhere, I'm like, is this dude like, he has some type of like demon inside of him or something because that's not normal. Like, he was like, oh, sara, 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 I'm gonna, I don't know what the hell he was saying. There were not words. And then I'm like, dude, like we're in the middle of a conversation. You're saying this stuff, like stop. You know, me being Christian, I'm over here in my head like praying like, God, do not let his spells be falling on me. Whatever it is, keep it away. Like, deep inside of me, right? I don't play with that. So, I'm just like, you know, you were a good person. And then, tell me why he gives me a hug. But when I go back, because I thought he was going to go in for a kiss, I kind of move back. And I see his eyes fucking rolling back for like a minute. and a, Like a minute or less than a minute. But it was a few seconds where I was able to like, I thought I was tripping out. I was like, please, God, I don't know who this person is this guy is but whatever it is keep it away from me that was it i, I kind of like it stuck with me in my hand i was like no i can't do this i'm sorry you know whoever <laughs> the sebastian guy but i was like i can't do that he was it was weird behavior was something else also i was i was so used to like going to places like fast food places and eating like something small because i eat a little bit right and my i'm so dumb i guess i'm gonna mention this but I would, I would kind of think that every other guy was the same, and I, I would think that, you know, Sebastian was would eat as much as my ex. I'm so bad for saying this, but one time we went to In and Out, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna pay, you know, and he said, no, I got it this time, I got it because you're always paying, and I was like, okay, fine, and then I noticed that he freaking ordered like three hamburgers, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I felt so stupid and so bad because I was like was like making this guy starve because he wasn't eating like that you know previously and i was like in shock and he's like oh it's que me da mucha hambre me da mucha hambre you know <laughs> and he was saying funny stuff like that and i was like oh okay but yeah that's one of the things that i learned and um oh my god he was just something else like he thought he was like the cutest guy ever he would fucking lie so much that his mentiras se le miraban por encima. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But I just went along with it because it was fun. Like I would just laugh at it because I would notice it and yeah. He would say stuff like, um, oh so he would ask me, this is how it started. He asked me what do I do? And I was like, Well, I go to college, you know, I I go to, you know, I work, this and that, you know, I like to do my little hustle on the side i like to stay busy and i was like i love fashion you know i like taking pictures because at the time at the time i was going out a lot with my friends and taking a lot of pictures so he will notice and he will see like on my instagram and stuff and i remember him saying like oh i'm a model like i model you know i'm i work for these brand name stuff and i was like boy like good for you but i wasn't first of all i wasn't asking second of all the way how he said it was like he just threw it there like i guess to not feel left out or something but i never said i worked as a model and i was doing all of this no i just said that i do it for fun and i was like and i do youtube you know for fun as well but this guy took it up the notch he's like well i sing i could sing i could do this i could do that and i was like show me you know show me so i could follow you i could support you i guess in, in one way or another 
and he was like coming up with lies and excuses like oh no like my account got hacked my account got deleted this and that and I was like okay like strange but all right let's get like that mm -mm. this guy was something else I blocked him once he left to El Salvador I blocked him I told him please do not hit me up I'm sorry like it was cool being your friends but I can, all, I can no longer be your friend. Stay tuned for more videos, you guys. Follow me on TikTok, on Instagram. I'll leave the link here. And si quieren saber más chisme, you guys want me to speak more in Spanish, díganme también. Bye.